In this video, we'll see how to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram in case of a simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load as shown in the figure. So the arrangement of the beam is shown over here. Now we have to apply the conditions of equilibrium and we have to find out reactions Ra and Rb. So the first condition of equilibrium is summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero. So Ra and Rb, they are acting in the upward direction. So they are considered as positive. Whereas 1800 Newton per meter. So what is the meaning of this? 1800 Newton per meter, that is for one meter length, the force is 1800. Then for four meter, it will be 1800 into four. So Ra plus Rb minus. Now, as this is acting in the downward direction, it is negative. So 1800 into four, that value is negative transfer this negative value on the other side so it will be positive so it is 7200 newton ra plus rb now we will take moment about point a so summation of moment about a is equal to zero we will consider clockwise moment positive and anti-clockwise moment negative so this is the important point so try to understand this properly so rb will have anti-clockwise moment so anti-clockwise moments they are negative and perpendicular distance between B and A is 3 plus 4 that is 7 plus 2 that is 9. So it is minus RB into 9 because this is the anti-clockwise moment about A. This 1800 into 4 will act at the center. So center of 4 meter is 2 meter. So 2 and this 2 that is 4 meter but it will produce the clockwise moment as this is acting in the downward direction it will produce clockwise moment about A. So 1800 into 4 is the total point load UDL which we have converted into point load and it will act at the center of 4 meter. So center of 4 meter is 2 meter that is over here from this up to this it is 2 meter and remaining this 2 meter so it is total is 4 meter and as it is in the downward direction it will produce clockwise moment about A and hence it is taken as positive. So that will be equal to 0. So 1800 into 4 is the UDL load and multiply by 4 is the perpendicular distance. So again try to understand because this is the important point. Meaning of UDL is for 1 meter the load is 1800 Newton then for 4 meter it will be 1800 into 4. This is the force and then it will act at the center. So center means 2 meter 4 divided by 2 that is 2 meter. So this distance will be 2 meter plus 2 meter because we are taking moment about point A. So this 2 and this remaining 2 and it will produce a clockwise moment about A. So 1800 into 4 into 4 will be equal to transfer this negative RB term on the other side. So it is 9 RB that will be on the another side. So 1800 into 4 into 4 whatever the value that will get divided by 9 will give you the value of RB. So value of RB comes out to be. So here we will get the value of RB as so we will make the calculation and that value comes out to be 3200 Newton. Now you can substitute this value in equation 1. So from equation 1 RA plus RB is equal to 7200. So RA will be equal to 7200 minus RB transfer RB on the other side. Now value of RB just now we have calculated as 3200. So 7200 minus 3200 that value comes out to be 4000 Newton. So these are the values of reactions Ra and Rp. Now we'll do the calculations for shear force diagram. The conventions that we have used are the same that is upward force positive and downward force negative. So let us start with point A. So shear force at A is nothing but a reaction Ra which is acting in the upward direction and upward forces are positive. So Ra is positive in this case value of Ra is 4000 Newton. Just at the C or at the left of the C the force will remain the same because no other force is acting over here. So shear force at C left and C it is same. So it is 4000 Newton. Now at point D we have to take into consideration this 18 into 1800 into 4 the UDL which we have converted into a point load. So 1800 into 4 will get added in the downward direction. So it is negative. So 4000 minus 1800 into 4 that is the 
UDL load. So shear force at D left or shear force at D will be same because there is no other force that is acting at point D. So 4000 minus 1800 into 4. So that value comes out to be minus 3200 Newton. From D up to B there is no force that is acting. So at the B left it will be same as that of D. So minus 3200 just at the left of B. But exactly at point B there will be upward acting reaction of 3200. So RB is 3200. So that is positive as it is acting in the upward direction. So minus 3200 plus reaction RB and that will become 0. Using these values we can easily draw the shear force diagram. So various values are indicated over here. So at point A shear force is 4000 Newton. At C it is 4000 Newton. At D it is minus 3200 Newton. Just at the left of B it is 3200 Newton and exactly at B it is 0. Now the shear force diagram changes the sign from positive to negative and this is the point of zero shear. So let us consider any section xx at a distance x from the left hand support. Now we have to find out the distance x where the shear force is zero and we will find out the bending moment also at that particular point. So let us find out the point of zero shear over here. So shear force at any section xx. So we have drawn this section xx roughly over here. Now the UDL which we have converted into point load is 1800 into 4. This is distance x from the left hand support that is a then this distance is x minus 2 because this total distance if this total distance is x and this is 2 then this will be x minus 2. This is 1800 into 4 that is uniformly distributed load sorry 1800 into x minus 2 that is the UDL which we have converted into point load and it will be acting at the center of this. So x minus 2 the center of x minus 2 is x minus 2 upon 2. So RA is the reaction at point A. Then over here there was a UDL and that UDL was acting over a length of x minus 2. So 1800 into x minus 2 that is the total UDL load and it will act at the center. So center of x minus 2 length. So it is x minus 2 upon 2. So shear force at any section xx. Consider all the forces on the left hand side of this section xx. So on the left hand side of this section xx the forces which are present they are RA and 1800 into x minus 2. So these are the forces which are present at the left hand side of this. So shear force at section xx will be equal to RA that is the reaction acting in the upward direction so it is positive and 1800 into x minus 2 that is the force acting in the downward direction so it is negative. Shear force at section xx is 0 so transfer this minus term on the other side so 1800 into x minus 2 will be equal to RA. Now substitute the value of RA. The value of RA that we know it is nothing but 4000. So x minus 2 will be equal to 4000 divided by this 1800 which is there in the multiplication. So x will be equal to transfer this minus 2 on the other side it will become positive. So the value of x that will obtain is 4000 divided by 1800 plus 2. And that value comes out to if you make the calculations then value of x that we will get is 4.222 meter from support a now we have to find out let us find out the moment also at section xx so ra will produce clockwise moment ra will produce clockwise moment about section xx so ra into x and this 1800 into x minus 2 it will produce anti-clockwise moment about section xx so ra will produce positive moment so ra into x 1800 into x minus 2 will produce anti-clockwise moment and perpendicular distance is x minus 2 upon 2 
so 1800 into x minus 2 into x minus 2 upon 2 so 1800 into x minus 2 is nothing but our udl load and perpendicular distance is x minus 2 by 2 similar to that ra is the load and perpendicular distance is x so let us substitute all the values over here so value of ra we know that it is 4000 value of x just now we have calculated as 4.222 so just substitute these values 1800 divided by 2 that is 900 and this is x minus 2 bracket square substitute the value of x so it is 4.222 minus 2 square so if you make this calculation that value will be equal to 12444.44 newton meter because force is in newton and distance is in meter so we have now calculated the bending moment point of zero shear and bending moment at the point of zero shear now we'll start with the bending moment diagram calculations so we know the convention that is clockwise moments we are consider them as positive whereas anti-clockwise moments they are considered as negative at the support the beam reaction the bending moment is zero so bending moment at a is zero then bending moment at c will be equal to we have to consider all the forces on the left hand side of c so on the left hand side of c there is only ra force is there and it will produce clockwise moment so it is ra into 2 the value of ra is 4000 so it is 4000 into 2 so it is 8000 newton meter bending moment at xx already we have calculated calculated as 12444.44 newton meter then bending moment at point d now this is important part so again we will draw the diagram for this so from a up to d the distance is 6 meter then in between there is a point and 1800 into now between c and d the distance is 4 so 18 into 1800 into 4 will act at the center of 4 meter length that is 2 meter so this is 4 meter length and this 1800 into 4 will act at the center of 4 meter that is 2 meter length so you can see RA will produce clockwise moment. So RA will produce clockwise moment about D. So RA and perpendicular distance is 6 meter between A and D. And this 1800 into 4, that is the UDL load, it will produce anti clockwise moment about D. So 1800 into 4 into 2, that is negative because it is anti clockwise. And if you make the calculations, then that value is 9600 Newton meter. So various values just now we have drawn. So bending moment at the support A and B it is zero. Then bending moment at C it is eight thousand newton meter. At section XX it is twelve thousand four hundred and forty four point four four newton meter. At D it is nine six zero zero newton meter. Now there is a UDL between C and D and therefore there is a parabolic distribution because the equation of the bending moment that we obtained for this part that is between c and d is a second degree equation that is it will be in the form of x square x minus 2 square correct like that so at is as it is a second order differential equation it will be a parabolic curve that we will get otherwise between a and c there is a straight line between d and b there is a straight line so in this way we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of a simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load thank you very much for watching